Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Andre here, Commissioner of WWL, again for a second team evaluation, I guess you could say. And now we're going to go to the newest team in WWL, the Western Wildcats. So yeah, let's get to it. The start of the season for the Western Wildcats didn't go so great, but at least for Game 1 against the Northern Nighthawks, it did. In Game 1, they threw a no-hitter, Ira Copperdall, his first no-hitter, and the first no-hitter in WWL history. I mean, it was a 8-strikeout no-hitter, a 10-4 to win, and that was a good way to start off the season for this franchise. But then in Games 2 and 3, it didn't go so well. Gavin Marabelli couldn't really pitch very well, and Ira Copperdall, he could hit, but in Game 3, he kind of struggled, so yeah. And here we are in Series 2 as the Wildcats are taking on the Eastern Eagles, who are 3-3 three and three at that point. And in Game 1, the Wildcats looked phenomenal. Ira pitched great, gave up one home run to Keegan, but that was about it. And the bats were going, had four home runs in the game, I'm pretty sure. And it all looked like it was going good until Game number 2. Then Isaiah came in to pitch, and the pitching was not great. I will get to him again in the next series, but the bats also weren't going good. In the first and third, they were almost nothing. In the second was when they pushed through, I'm pretty sure, seven of their nine runs of that game. And it looked great in that second game, but they just could not pull through as they lost. And then in game number three, uh, it was a really close game, a 3-2 to two loss. Keegan, uh, I'll get to him when we get to the e Eagles, excuse me. Uh, but he had the first game where he pitched an entire game and won without a strikeout. That was actually pretty crazy when I figured out that stat. But yeah, the Wildcats fall to 2-4 and four and are going against the Sharks in their next series. And here we are in the third series and final series that the Wildcats have played this season. Now, both teams were 2-4 and four at this moment. Sharks were coming off a depressing, sad series against the Emus after getting swept. And the Wildcats were pretty much looking the same as they have lost both of their first two series 1-2. to two. But as you know, they do sweep this series. I will get to, I already got to the Sharks last time. But Ira pitched phenomenal. He probably had at least 15 strikeouts in both games. Or not both games, but both of them combined. Isaiah, you know how I said earlier that his pitching wasn't very good? He had a great game in game two of this series. And Ira had three home runs or four. I can't remember the exact stat. And Isaiah had two this series. But overall... This Wildcats team, you could see them make a deep run in the playoffs. They have the Nighthawks Series 1, who they did lose to in the regular season. But, in my opinion, uh, Ira, Gavin, and Isaiah, plus other players, if they do show up, I feel like they could make a deep run, if not a World Series run.